Now let's look at how OSPF establishes a neighbor adjacency. So we only will exchange routing information between neighbors that are considered adjacent. And that's important to understand. So in this example, we're going to send a hello to the multicast address 224005, but not until we enable OSPF and use the network statement with a wildcard mask and apply this to an area will we see those hellos sent. So right there in that output of our command line, we can see that we enabled OSPF for the 10 network, really any interface that's got a 10 address on it, doesn't matter the subnet, and we put them in area zero. So immediately, OSPF brought interface F00 up from a routing protocol perspective, sent that 224005 hello message out, it heard hellos from our other router on the other side. It checked the header values to make sure that certain fields matched, like the timers and the authentication, and it established a neighbor. Once it established the neighbor, it was then able to build its link state database and then run the SPF algorithm against that database, placing itself as the root of the tree, and is able to calculate best path to each destination and put a route into the routing table.